There's a seahorse down here. I'm gonna show it to you. There's the boat, Noma. The seahorse is here. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I'm going down. Seahorses are a favorite of the marine animal kingdom, but they're not always easy to spot because they have superb camouflage capabilities. We were very fortunate to have these two as our underwater neighbors. They were just a few meters away from our boat and only a few meters deep, so we could easily free dive to see them and easily visit them during our daily swim. While sailing around Klein Bonaire we caught a tuna. It was only a small one, but it couldn't be saved, so we decided to eat it. The result of our catch of the day, we made tataki of the fresh tuna and it's so good. Super delicious. <laughs> mm. Wow. I got another one. And the kids eat pancakes. <laughs> okay. You got some big boxes there. Yeah. You got, look at the one, it's open. Uh oh. Yeah, maybe things are stolen from our boxes. I received two boxes. Please subscribe to our channel if you like it. I received two boxes with our diving gear from Holland. One box is ripped open. First, let's open this one. Take the package list. It was our new diving gear that arrived. Now that we were certified paddy divers and we planned on diving a lot, we figured it would be easiest to buy our own gear to have on board so we can dive in all the beautiful places that we'll encounter on our journey. As you can see, diving requires a lot of gear. And luckily, everything we ordered was in the box and nothing got lost. Docked next to us was the impressive sailing cruise, the Royal Clipper. Of course, we had to see this up close, so we took the dinghy to go and check it out. Royal Clipper is a steel-hulled 5-master, fully rigged, tall ship used as a cruise ship. 
It is furnished in the traditional luxurious style, but with the amenities and accommodations of the finest modern yacht. She is listed in Guinness World Records as the largest square rigged ship in service, with 5,202 square meters of sail, that's 55,990 square feet. Her sails can be handled with a crew as small as 20 using powered controls. What a marvelous sight it is! We sail Noma to a beautiful diving and snorkeling spot near Clem Bonaire. The kids snorkeled in the clear blue waters and explored the coast of Clem Bonaire. And Sven and I were going to test out our new scuba gear. This dive site is called Carl's Hill. It's named after the underwater photographer Carl Rusler and lies on the northwest tip of Clem Bonaire. Carl's Hill is a spectacular dive which features a near vertical wall that descends from 10 to 40 meters. The wall is covered with sponges and soft corals and forms a magnificent and colorful spectacle that attracts hundreds of fish. There was so much to see and we were completely in love with the underwater world that we recently discovered. We saw a lot of fish that we had never seen before. Diving in a quiet and beautiful place like this brings such a peaceful feeling over me and it makes me feel completely relaxed. We also went scuba diving at Andrea to explore this site in preparation for our night dive to see the ostracods. Did you know that Bonaire is one of the most respected diving destinations in the world? Bonaire has one of the oldest and most proactive environmental protections in place. Much of the island, all of Klein Bonaire and all of the water surrounding the island are natural parks. Bonaire was the first country that mandated the use of mooring buoys. You are not allowed to drop an anchor in the waters of Bonaire because this Dutch Caribbean island has protected its marine life for more than 35 years, marine life has flourished. Coral conservation has led to some of the healthiest reefs in the world with more than 470 fish species found in Bonaire's waters. Because Bonaire is a Dutch island, they have the tradition here to celebrate Sinterklaas, just like in our home country. Sinterklaas is a celebration for small children, so we don't celebrate it anymore, but we were curious to see how it's celebrated here in the Caribbean. The appearance of Sinterklaas and Zwarte Piet is more traditional here than in Europe, where the character of Zwarte Piet has become increasingly controversial in recent years. In the Dutch Caribbean, the celebration is mostly a show with songs that have a more tropical rhythm and with a dancing center class and acrobatic Zwarte Piet. We also did some diving just off the back of our boat in the mooring field to discover our beautiful underwater backyard. Isn't it amazing?
Sven's mom came to visit us, so we indulged her into the sailing life we were living here in Bonaire. We did another tour around the island with the car and visited Lug Bay. Here you can see what is called the conch graveyard. Beautiful one. Broken. Broken. Large piles of empty shells serve as a reminder of the times when the Bonaire conch was still harvested. Today the species is heavily protected and removing conch from the Bonaire water is strictly forbidden. Hi guys, what are you doing? Best burgers of the island. We're trying them out. <laughs> Local. Kite and surf. Kite City. Let's try it. Kite City really has the best burgers. We drove back to the south side along the salt flats former slave sites and rocky beaches where Sven and the kids contributed to the driftwood statues. At the end of the day we took some rest and had a drink at Jibe City, the place to be for windsurfing. Join us again next week when we'll take you diving in the Bonaire National Park. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying our videos, you can show us your appreciation by buying us a drink through the link in the description. Don't forget to like our video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so.